Figures of 7.3 overs, two maidens, four for 13 has been absolutely outstanding. He's Zimbabwe's blind cricket commentator. Dean Duplessis uses his acute sense of hearing and in-depth knowledge of the game to commentate on live cricket matches for national radio and TV. Quite a feat for a man born blind with only months to live. I was born with tumours on both my retinas. So I was only meant to be alive for, max for three to maximum five months, but... Well, I'm 35 not out now, so still playing a good innings. Dean uses the stump microphones to hear the speed and spin of the ball. He listens out for the player's footfall, grunts and telltale phrases to know who is bowling, who is batting and whether they're pleased with their performance. When Truscothic uh, used to hit the ball, he'd always just say, run. He would never say yes. And when Andrew Strauss hits the ball, he always goes, yeah, come on, come on, come on. So with those two, I always knew it was wonderful listening to those two opening the batting because I knew exactly who was doing what. It's that ability which impresses those on the pitch as much as those listening to his commentary at home. If you didn't know that he was blind from birth, I mean, you, you wouldn't realise it. He's blind and he knows what's happening out there on the field. Um, and for a blind guy to know that, uh, it's very difficult. Despite his ability, Dean is confined to working as a guest commentator in the Zimbabwean media. He yearns for the chance to become a full-time commentator, reporting on international matches for a global sports channel. Difficult may be, but Dean's passion for the sport leaves him no choice but to pursue well, uh, his ambitions. It's been a pretty eventful morning here at Harare Sports Club on the second day of this crucial uh, Logan Cup match.